quick demo just to show you the actual unit you've got uh, a button on the side which I'm going to refer to later but I'm pointing out to you now uh, two slots for micro or mini USBs and the HDMI to plug straight into your TV you get a cable get various cables but you get two cables I'm not going to show you the one because you don't need to use it um, that's plugged straight into a USB device to power the unit up and you get another item, another HDMI cable as an extension bar if you should need it to connect to your TV that is basically it you do also get a little pin so when you see it in the box a little pin and you use that little pin to switch over uh, to use the mirror function on this product but as I said I'll explain that at a later stage that is the Wi-Fi adapter from acetoys.eu and I shall be showing you how to set it up in the first video using Airfun and in the second video how to use it via mirror uh, to use the mirror function of it thanks for watching okay I'm going to try and keep this quick this is a quick demo from to show you how to set up your Wi-Fi adapter from acetoys.eu basically once you've plugged it in connected it up via Wi-Fi or via your DMLA TV you will be given an IP address it will say setup and then you find that IP address just go to your type it into your web browser and you'll be able to see it right there so let's do it where you'll see it just type in the IP address download the page and then you'll be able to see quite clearly that's where you need to download the app okay so once you've got that app downloaded um, what I would do is install the app once you've installed it you'll, you'll be given an option to connect to TV it will normally say connect either TV or connect to PTV now in order to connect to PTV you might need to go into your Wi-Fi and come off your uh, current Wi-Fi and connect to PTV and then set up a, a security maybe just for e to make it easy just to set up the same uh, security code or number that's on your normal Wi-Fi and um, use that it's basically a bridge okay once you've done that open back up uh, your airphone and you should be connected now I'll show you now straight away this um, remote control at the moment I haven't been able to get it to function so that doesn't work and it's exactly the same as these other functions here that may have been this is to do with a USB device that well and I've got nothing connected to um, the device at the moment so there's no point in watching that or using that video playback which is good it um, will show whatever you've got on your hard drive directly to your TV as you'll be able to see now you can also control the volume you can fast forward the video without any lag at all which is very very good cut that and get rid of that okay so that's video showing photos you can have the option to put up whatever photos or you've got on your the hard drive of your phone I'll just select a few so you'll be able to see them showing on the TV and the quality that you'll be able to get so I know there's some sticklers out there who want the finer details and here you'll have it so you just press pray and you'll be able to see on the TV screen whatever your phone whatever um, you have on your phone the quality is perfect there's no drop off there's nothing at all um, perfect that's all I can say so there you have it if your TV isn't DNLA'd you now have everything streaming directly to your TV from your phone no wires involved and um, that's airphone for you 
Now the best thing about Airfon is the fact that when you are playing a video, it doesn't display on your um, on your phone, which unlike uh, when you mirror it, uh, it's playing on your phone at the same time, which obviously is going to pull more power. The downfall of of Airfon is the fact that it's supposed to work with this this um, program called Mirror Up. Now Mirror Up don't work. I've talked to the suppliers and they've said that it's supposed to work on any Android phone 4.2.2 upwards but we had a Samsung S4 working on 4.2.2 and it doesn't work so at the moment the only way you can mirror um, the phone is to use it via the other system uh, which I'm going to show you on my next video okay this is a quick demo I'll show you how to connect your TV your phone to your TV okay basically on your Wi-Fi you should have um, direct um, Wi-Fi direct on my phone I've just got Wi-Fi display and it can sh it will show you directly um, my TV IP address <coughs> connect to it like you'd connect to something on Bluetooth and you'll be able to see it's searching succeeded and now you've got the same display on your TV now let's show you this thing working as you can see there's hardly any lag it's very very straightforward as you can see all your apps now displayed on your TV yes it is on a letter po letter um, box viewing however if you wanted to view anything um, say on the internet if you were to flip over your phone say for example go to our website if you were to flip over your phone it then shows in the right uh, format as you can see our website here with various products that we already sell on acetoys.eu what about video wise um, let's have a look let's go on to YouTube as you can see it will play video quite quite well there's no lagging on the video at all okay so we've got no problems at all with watching videos on your phone off your phone streaming videos off uh, the internet uh, off a website or what have you off of YouTube what have you there's no problems there there is a slight problem when we come to mirroring images from games or your gameplay I'll show you what I mean I've got asphalt already set up here now the issue that we've got is that um, the Wi-Fi if your Wi-Fi is not particularly that strong you're gonna find that you're gonna get data drop off and will it definitely affect uh, the way you're playing your game so uh, we'd either, you'd need to either move your Wi-Fi unit closer to the unit or to your phone sorry or the actual unit closer to your Wi-Fi one of the two anyway we managed to get it to work um, see what you think as you can see there's a bit of lag there it's okay when it starts to get going now Apologise for my really bad driving there
you can see the drop off again So you can see whatever drop off we're getting it's more to do with the fact that um, it's my Wi-Fi signal in my house you might not be affected by this at all it could be just me Anyway, enough of that. So you can see, you do get a relatively um, cheap product that allows you to do so much on your phone. It doesn't matter whether, you know, you're always going to find that a, a, a purpose for this product, whether it's just streaming stuff off the internet straight onto your TV screen. So you don't need a big... Um, thousand fifteen hundred pound TV now with smart tap you just use use your phone to stream directly to your TV what it does do well is is stream video footage that's I'd, I'd say that's the best function for this product in itself gameplay yep if we can manage to figure out how to work get the thing to work on the NLA then uh, yeah we're gonna have a really great product here but the issue we've got with this mirror up which doesn't work um, is the problem anyway that's a quick demo of um, mirror image on the Wi-Fi um, display units that we're selling at acetoys.eu you know where to come